All right, guys, this is Normal Central coming back at you with another YouTube video, and I really appreciate all the love and the support so far. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. Let's go ahead and try to get this video up to 50 likes, so be sure to hit the thumbs up button before you leave today. Uh, we're going to have a big show today in just terms of talking about team news in this regard. Instead of recruiting, I'm going to take a step back just real quick about trying to get other content ideas out there, and this is a conversation that a lot of people are talking about and a position that Florida State fans are talking about quite often. So we'll kind of see how this goes and uh, see how everything goes with that. But I really appreciate it as always, and let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So, of course, the linebacker position is a position that Florida State fans talk quite a bit about, um, whether it be recruiting, which we've got one prospect in the recruiting class for the 2024 class, uh, with uh, Jaden Parrish, a three-star linebacker out of Delray Beach. Now, he is a very talented prospect that Florida State likes a ton. Um, Florida State was able to get three linebackers in last year's recruiting cycle um, with Blake Nicholson, a four-star prospect out of California. Then you also got DeMarco Ward from Georgia, as well as Dylan Brighton Turner from Texas. Um, those are three guys they brought in. Uh, you know, of course, with that, DeMarco Ward was an early enrollee, and then Turner and Nicholson were summer enrollees. So you have to kind of factor all of that in as we go through. Now, the biggest thing with that is, is Brendan Gant was one that transferred out and he went to Colorado. He was a linebacker that I thought was going to be pretty much a reserve, was a great special teams piece for Florida State and actually was an experienced option. And Florida State unfortunately lost him to the transfer portal. And next thing you know, he went to Colorado. So Dion was able to get a good prospect there. Um, I think the linebacker position took a little bit of a hit there um, because you also had a guy like Stephen Dix Jr. who also transferred out as well wishing him nothing but the best he goes in his next journey also. But just looking at that, you have Kalen Deloach and you have Tatum Bethune. Both of those guys are two of the top three tacklers on the team from last year, besides Jamie uh, Robinson, who is in the NFL at this point at the defensive back position. And Deloach and Bethune were solid last year. The linebacker position has not been that solid in quite some time. And that kind of goes without saying that Bethune had kind of a nagging shoulder injury that kind of hampered him since the LSU game. And Deloach also had his fair share of injuries also. They have remotely kept the same two in there. I know Florida State recruiting efforts have not been great at the linebacker position, but you also have to think about it this way. They utilize basically two linebackers in the defensive scheme, sometimes three. Um, I think in this year they're going to kind of spotlight Deloach and Bethune because they are experienced options. But, you know, you also have a DJ Lundy that's there at that third linebacker spot who's a redshirt junior. And with Deloach and Bethune being redshirt seniors, I think it's very important for Lundy to kind of learn and develop and make sure that when he becomes a senior and has it on his own, that's what he's going to have to learn from is those two experienced linebackers. But the biggest factor, I think, in everything is Florida State is very comfortable in this player that I'm kind of featuring my video around today. And that is Omar Graham Jr., a redshirt freshman linebacker that they absolutely love. I mean, he was a three-star prospect from the 22 class from Stranahan High School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And he's a guy that Florida State, when you looked at it, were like, okay, Chris Marv, you're not really recruiting that well. And fans were just getting upset. You know, why did we only get one linebacker in there? And What's so special about Omar Graham? And they kept looking at the star rankings. But mind you, his senior season was very, very impressive. He had 102 total tackles. 40 tackles for loss, and 23 and a half sacks. I mean, as a defender, also had two forced fumbles as well. And then on the offensive side of the ball, he was actually more of a running back as well. He had 551 yards as a running back and 12 touchdowns. I mean, that is very, very impressive stats for a guy in South Florida who a lot of people are kind of downgrading because of his star ranking. I know that star rankings do matter because, you know, you see with all the recruiting rankings that we've had so far, you know, the Alabamas, the Georgias, but they still have a couple of three stars that they ha have out there. And I'm not saying you have to build your whole class around it. And I know a lot of the analytics suggest that you have to have a top 10 class in order to be successful, preferably top five, really, to be in the national championship conversation. But overall, I think this is a guy that they really enjoy and think that this is a guy that's going to be able to step up after Deloach and Bethune are out of here um, after the 23 season. I think with Lundy, you know, with also um, Omar Graham Jr., and then you have a Brian Courtney that's converted over from tight end to linebacker. You know, you have a Blake Nicholson who everybody's excited about because he's a four-star linebacker. DeMarco Ward, Turner, and also Parrish. I think you've got yourself 
a very, very good linebacker core that can be there. Is depth an issue possibly? Proven depth? Yes. I think it definitely is because you have to have that proven depth. And they may go after a transfer portal guy, but I think Omar Graham, they feel very confident in what they have. He's only played in two games last year. He had eight total tackles. Was a guy that, you know, they wanted to give at least a little bit experience to, but, you know, it's so hard when you have Bethune and Deloach out there that I don't really think you had too much there. But I think with this coming up the year, I think you're going to see a lot of Lundy and a lot of Graham. You may see a little bit of Courtney here and there, but I just don't think he's quite ready just yet. Same thing with Nicholson, Ward, and Turner. I think they're kind of a little bit more years away. But I do think Graham is going to be that guy that emerges and is able to take that next step forward. So maybe from eight tackles to maybe about 25 or 30, I think can be a reasonable number for him. I think if he's able to get in and play meaningful snaps and six of your games, which could be blowouts because Florida State is going to be favored in almost every game but Clemson and LSU at that point, could definitely be a factor that you could see Florida State kind of go into their younger linebackers like a Graham, like a Courtney, you know, like a Nicholson that can be able to develop early on and develop his skill set. I think it really be beneficial for this defense going forward. But I definitely think it speaks to the volumes of what they think about Omar Graham Jr. and what they've kind of said. I mean, a lot of those media members that have went out there and attended practices, they've talked about how Omar Graham, the light has kind of flashed in, in him so far. You know, he's developed and starting to slowly migrate into it. And it's so hard to develop as a as a linebacker that young and trying to get into speed. And But, you know, he's kind of built for this at this point. I think he's kind of got to the point where – you know, he's developed that skill set. He knows what's expected of him. He knows the plays. He knows where to go. You know, I, I think it's just one of those things where it's just trial and error at this point where you just need to know where you're at. But I do think that Omar Graham is going to be a special player. I think he's going to be really good, but we'll kind of see how that pans out because not everybody develops the same rate. Maybe he might be a year three guy at that point. But overall, I think that Omar Graham Jr. is a special piece that I think Florida State can hang their hats on with this one. And this could definitely be a guy that by the time that Deloach and Bethune leave after the 23 year, 24 could be his season to uh, remember. But I really appreciate all the love and support as always on my channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. I try to do this as much as I can, especially daily content. I hope you all enjoy the content. Leave a comment down below what you think of Omar Graham Jr. Do you think he's going to be a big factor this year? year do you think it may be a 24 uh candidate there do you think there's another candidate that may uh, emerge as this season goes along kind of give me your thought process in those comments and I, i'm interested to kind of read some of those comments that we have there but i really appreciate as always and go Knowles.